everyone, and it's time for my March book haul, which, uh, uh which I, I, I bought a lot of books. Um, I have 20 books to share with you in this video, but I also have another book haul that I bought this month. It was a chapters book haul, bought a whole bunch of books of chapters, but I'm not going to include those in this video because then I would just make this video even longer. So I will link that in the card up here and you can go check out those books that I bought because I, I love buying books. I recently discovered that Let's Read spreadsheet thing and I've entered in all the books that I've purchased this year <laughs> and it's like, uh, yeah. Just gonna leave it at that. So I have bought from Book Outlet twice this month and I have a couple book depository and another thing from chapter so went to all three of my places that I go for books first off was the family day sale I only got three books from um I first saw the conspiracy of us by Maggie Hall discovered this book from Ginger Reed Slaney she really loved this book and I thought it was a very fun read it's like spies and and mafia maybe things there are things that happen in this book uh, next i have the Ty the trial it's the complete trilogy by amanda, amanda hawking um back when i did rip in january i had tried to read frostfire and i felt like the world building was like already established so this is these are the three books that go before that so i'm gonna hopefully get to this and it's all three is a bind up all three in one so you got switch torn and ascend next i have seraphina by rachel hartman and can you see that you see the hollow on that oh my god i'm i'm sounding like simple simply nail nail logical i started watching these nail tutorial videos um and she just loves holographic nail polishes. I have seen this many many times on booktube, like on people's bookshelves, things like that. So I'm like, ah, oh, it's got dragons. I should read it, get it. It was cheap on book outlet, so I got it. Then I went back to chapters because I needed to pick up Ferris because I was I was about to finish reading Crass and I'm like I need to continue on with the with the series, so I got Ferris because you read Ferris before you read Winter. It's just the way it goes. And then I decided to get the box set of the Seven Realms uh, series by Cinda Williams Chima. This is the Demon King, the Exiled Queen, the Grey Wolf Thorn, and the Crimson Crown. I love me some fantasy, so um, yeah. Picked up the box set because why not? That's, that's I, I love fantasy, so I'm gonna get some fantasy books. And then I ordered Winter from Book Depository because all my other books in the Luna Chronicle series are in paperback and this does not come out in paperback, <laughs> in Canada at least, until January 2017. So I'm not about that waiting life. So thankfully I have the international edition of paperback. This is from Freewell and Friends. And it's actually a pretty, it's a good match. Like, I am satisfied with it. I'm only a little bothered the fact that it's not Square Fish. Like, the, the, the publisher is gonna be different. But, you know, if I put these side by side, I'm not gonna be able to tell because they match. And then there was that book that got lost in the mail and I got a replacement sent to me. So I finally got it. And that is uh, Air Awakens by Elise Kova. This better be worth the wait because it was shipped February 23rd and I didn't get it till March 30th. I th March 30th came and I'm like, okay, I should get a winter the next day because I ordered winter at the same time they were sending me the replacement coffee. So I'm just going by that. So the 31st came around and oh, uh, there's the other one. So I have two copies of Air Awakens by Elise Kova. Might do a giveaway. I don't know. I recently got 300 subscribers, so who knows what might happen. And then I decided to treat myself because I did get my tax return back, so I got a little money from that. That's why I bought my bookshelves and stuff like that. So I spent a little more money at Book Outlet. And so I have all of these books here. 
first, I'm going to share with you guys these two books, which are the Time Traveling Fashionista series. There is the first book, it's On Board the Titanic. The premise of the story is that this girl gets an invite to like a vintage dress shop. She tries on the dress and she gets transported to back in time. So on this one, it's to the Titanic. And in the second book, it's uh, at the palace of Marie Antoinette. So I thought this was a good like historical fiction, kind of sci-fi weirdness. Um, the only complaint I have is that they're the same publisher, same series, and everything, except <sighs> these are lined up, these are lined up. The first book is shorter than the, the second book. They made the second book a little bit longer, so I don't know if you can see that, but it irks the crap out of me. The author of this is Bianca Turetsky. I'm just saying. I forgot to say who these were by. Next we have Ashes to Ashes by Melissa Walker. This is, uh, I really love stories about dealing with death and grief and this is about a girl who has died and she kind of comes back sort of like a ghost and she has to witness like her father and her boyfriend or whatever doing all the grieving and stuff like that and she has to decide whether she wants to move on or become a vengeful spirit who knows i'm making up the vengeful spirit part um, but like it's along those premises and i just have to say if there's a love interest in this book because there's like a guardian angel that helps her i'm gonna scream and chuck this out the window just saying, I don't want to read this book and have some silly love interest in it. I'm going into that with that expectation. If you read this book, please let me know right now. If there's a love interest kind of plot story thing in it, because then I won't read this book. Just saying. Next we have Cinderella's Dress by Shauna Slayton. And this is a story about a girl who comes in possession of the historic Cinderella's dress. This takes place during World War II, I think during like the London Blitz. She get, comes in possession of this dress and she has to deal with like the ancestors of the stepsisters, things like that. Found it really intriguing. I'm, I'm, I like historical fiction, so this song, straight, this, this song, this uh, book, Strange Sweet Song by Addie Rule. I have seen this on book outlet so many times and I've always been on the fence about it. I've wanted to get it because it's a really pretty cover but I'm not sure, I don't know if I'm gonna like the story but it's all about like going to this music school and there's sort of like a mysterious forest and things like that so a lot, I'm curious to see how song gets played out in written form. Next I got Desires of the Dead by Kim Kimberly Durting. This is the second book in like the Body Finder not series. I read the first one back in August and I really liked it so I finally got the second one and I will be interested in to getting to it if I can speak English. Next we have Cruel by Jennifer Albin and this is like about a girl who's like a fate who weaves uh, people's lives like she's got that ability to do that so there's like fighting against what she's meant to do and what she wants to do like she doesn't really want to have that kind of power over people so I thought that was a really interesting comp set and I hope I'm not disappointed. This book is called The 13th Sign by Kristen O'Donnell Tubb. This I believe is a middle grade. Someone has unlocked the 13 astrological sign and because they've unlocked it the whole world kind of shifts and like people's personality change like according to what your horoscope says and so the character in this has to kind of fix it and put things back together because people's whole personalities have changed because they're no longer the astrological sign that they were because there's this mysterious 13 sign that's now here. This next book, I read the premise of it and I just clicked it into my cart. This is Dark Lord by Jamie Thompson. Oh, sorry, it says Dirk Lloyd on it. But I'm gonna read you the inside flap to this because I thought it was hilarious and I can't wait to read it. I might read it sooner rather than later. I might even read it before winter. Who knows? Um, but it says, Greetings, puny humans. In your hands, you are holding a tome of staggeringly evil genius. It is not for the faint of heart or for the whining masses. It is for those willing to serve as my devoted minions while I plan my greatest feat yet. 
surviving life as a human boy and returning to my rightful place as the ruler of the Darklands. Before I can exact revenge, I must infiltrate this world and learn its ways. How, you might ask, is that possible that I, Dark Lord, the Master of the Legion of the Dread, and the Sorcerer Supreme can be reduced to human form? And how is it possible that the Lord of Darkness could be forced to attend school and befriend such pitiful life forms? Only by reading my tale will you learn the truth behind my cataclysmic defeat that left me stranded on this accursed earth. But make no mistake, revenge will be mine as soon as I finish my homework. Mwahaha. Yours insincerely, Dirk Lord. L Dirk Lloyd. <laughs> AKA Dark Lloyd. Dark Lord. I thought this was a really interesting concept. Just the, the, the main character is a villain and he has to go through adolescence all over again as a human because I don't think he's actually like human in his world. Alright, are you still here? Are you still watching this? Because that was a lot of books. I don't think I forgot any. Did I forget any? If I did, oh well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey everyone, it is time for my April book haul. No, it is April, but again, I'm saying that it's <gasps> okay. Blah, blah, blah.